Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the iOS 18 control center. So as you probably know, the control center has totally been changed, totally been upgraded on iOS 18 and now we have the ability to add and also remove different toggles and widgets from the control center. And as you can see right here, of course, we can now also add toggles and widgets from third party apps and I have a few here to share with you guys that I think you should try out on your device. Now first of all we have Lock Launcher. Now this is a pretty cool app that allows you to set up like a few apps or actions that you might want to perform directly from the dynamic island or maybe even from the live activity. But you can also do things like at a website right there. So you can see if I just tap right here, it will start the live activity, which will be right here at the top. And I have these toggles right there, which is pretty cool. As you can see, this can be done directly from the control center. We also have here a website opener. I can tap right there and I can open the website directly from the control center. So it's pretty awesome and it actually has quite a few different toggles. So when you go to add a toggle from this app, you can just go ahead and pick what action you wanna add there. So if we just go ahead and add here an action, we can tap on choose and choose any of the actions that we have of course previously set up on the app. Next up is iScreen. Now iScreen is an app that will offer a ton of different widgets for your control center. And here we have a few of those. We have a fun one right there that will just start a fan. It looks kind of cool. Then we have this one for the storage. I really love that one. You can have your storage right there on your control center. And we have one right there that shows your device's info. And then we have a water logger. And as you can see, it's interactable. So I can tap right there to add. It shows that little animation right there in the sound. And then we have here dice roll. So that's pretty cool as well. So you have a ton of different widgets from this app. So going into the app right here, you can see if we go ahead and try to add widgets, we have a ton of those that we can add to the control center. Now, again, what's really cool is that whenever you add a widget to the control center with one of these apps, you will of course have all kinds of different sizes here. So you can resize them, make them bigger or smaller. Next up is Widget Smith. Now with Widget Smith and their latest update, you can now have widgets on the control center. You can set them up on the app. You have a few different actions or the ability to open any app you want or a URL and you can just have them on your control center. Like just searching for a location or starting the road to that location directly from your control center by simply tapping there. You can add a number you wanna call, so you can do that directly from here, it's pretty cool. But of course, we will have a ton of different actions as well. So when you go under Widget Smith on the app, you just tap right there, control center, and you will be able to add any of the actions that you will see right here on this list. And then when you add a widget on the control center from this app, you simply go ahead and choose the action you wanna add. Waterminder is the next app for the video. Whenever you're trying to stay hydrated, you need this app. It is probably one of the best in this area and it now offers widgets for your control center. Now what you can do right here is open your history or just log a cup of water that you just drank. So you tap right there and you log it as easy as that. So it's pretty cool. It has a few different widgets like four I believe that you can add and basically make your make things easier for you when you want to log something you can now do that directly from the control center. Next up is Remote Pro. Now Remote Pro is an app that allows you to control your, uh, your TV directly from your iPhone. Now you can do that through the app or now you can actually do that from the control center. So turning up or down the volume, muting your TV or just turning it off. You will also have the play and pause right there. All the controls that you have on the controller in the app, you can also add to the control center. So if we go to the widgets right here, you will see we have a ton of like different widgets from this app. Basically all the controls that you have on like a TV remote, you will have them now on your control center and you can just go ahead and control your TV directly from the control center. Next up is Dynamic Lyrics. Now Dynamic Lyrics is a pretty cool app that lets you see the lyrics of a song 
on a widget on the home screen, on your live activity, or on just like a window, a floating window in, in the picture picture mode. So it offers, of course, uh, these right here, the control center widgets. You can see you can set the widgets on the live activity directly from here, or it can enable floating lyrics. You tap right there and it enables floating lyrics for you. So if you're actually listening to a song by just tapping that button on your control center, now you can have the lyrics of that song on the screen and of course you can move them around this is the picture in picture mode hide them or reveal them anytime you want another popular app that has now been updated to support control center widgets for ios 18 is dark noise and you can turn on the noises directly from your control center of course turn and turn them on and off or switch to any other noise you want now it's kind of buggy because it doesn't show right here the icons it shows at them at the beginning but then they just disappear hopefully that will be fixed because it looks of course much much better with the icon so when you go to add a control from dark noise you can just go ahead and choose the noise right here you will have a few of those and of course, once you're done, you will have it right here on your control center. And as always, with every other widget that you add, you can, of course, go ahead and make it smaller or bigger. Moon FM has also been updated for iOS 18. Moon FM is a very popular podcast app, and it has now a widget for the control center, which allows you to directly start playing your podcast from your control center so it's dedicated for this app and you can play and pause your podcast directly from here and as you can see it even shows right there the name of the episode once you start playing remind faster is an app that allows you to quickly add a reminder now what's really cool is that now we have the widget for the control center and whenever you need to take a quick reminder you can actually do that directly from the control center you tap on the widget right there and you're here you're starting now to, to basically add a new reminder now what's really cool is that you can have like some presets right here that allow it to add the time and the clock for that reminder pretty quickly you can enter anything you want here and it will also sync with the default reminders app of ios and last but not least is money coach money coach is an app that allows you to keep track of your income and your expenses and now via the control center widgets you can add your expenses or your income faster than ever from the control center if you want to add new income you just tap right there and you go into the app from where of course you can easily add your income the same can be done here for expenses and it has a few more like different controls that you can add let's just go ahead and find the app right here so that we have money coach you tap right there to add an action you can tap here to select any of the actions that you want from this app so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 10 new control center widgets that you can add on your device with the new ios 18 control center hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button you will find all the links to these apps pinned right down below on the comment if you want to try out any of these again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one